Journal entry number 5, Edmontosaurus. But first, make sure to comment what dinosaur you want me to talk about next. Also make sure to like and subscribe so you can get more content like this in the future. Also, what dinosaur do you think Edmontosaurus surpassed in size? I will tell you at the end of the video. Edmontosaurus was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived in what is now Western North America in the late Cretaceous period. Being a herbivore, this dinosaur had a duck-billed beak and up to a thousand little teeth all stacked together in rows to form structures known as dental batteries to grind and shred even the hardest plants. And this creature made good use of those teeth, eating around 500 to 600 pounds or 226 or 272 kilograms of food a day. And for reference, the African elephant, the biggest land animal in the world, only eats around 300 pounds or 136 kilograms of food a day. For eating so much food, this beast had to be a huge creature. And it was. Edmontosaurus could reach sizes of around 13 feet or 3.9 meters tall, or as tall as an African elephant, and could be as long as 43 feet or 13 meters long, which is about as long as the average length of a school bus and a half and could weigh in at a scale shattering 7,700 pounds or 3,492 kilograms or as heavy as two average cars. And because this dinosaur's massive size, it was one of the biggest hadrosaurs in America and in the world. Despite being such a gigantic organism, it could stand up on two legs or even run as fast as an average person can. The Edmontosaurus is able to accomplish this by having a very long tail that could balance out its weight, making it possible for it to stand up. This tail could also serve as a weapon against predators like T-Rex when it could not run away. Edmontosaurus also had an interesting discovery. In 1892 is when the creature's fossils were first found by paleontologist Charles Marsh in southern Alberta, Canada in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation and dubbed Claosaurus anactens. And it wasn't until 1917, 25 years later, that Lawrence Lamble would find more Edmontosaurus fossils and call the remains Edmontosaurus regulus, and the name would get coined. And now, there were two different types of Edmontosaurus. You have Edmontosaurus anactens and Edmontosaurus regulus, both meaning lizard from Edmont in Greek. And the answer to the question in the beginning of the video was Tyrannosaurus rex. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can get more content like this in the future. Also make sure to comment what dinosaur you want me to talk about next. So I'll be going on another adventure to document my findings in the Jurassic Journal. See you next time.